Imagine you could gain quick insight into who you are and why you do things in a certain way. We have all struggled with our own issues. If we could just understand them and why we have them, would you want that type of insight? The Myers-Briggs Type Indicator MBTI is the most popular personality test in the world. More than 1.5 million people take it yearly from hundreds of universities to Fortune 500 companies and lots of everyday people. The test was invented in 1942 by Katherine Cook Briggs and her daughter Isabel Briggs Myers. They created it to help people understand their own tendencies to help them choose jobs that would suit them well. Much of it is based on the theory of psychological types described by Carl Jung, a Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst who founded analytical psychology. He introduced a theory involving extroversion and introversion. Through the test, different traits are assessed and through the combination of traits, people fall into one of 16 categories. That is the summed up version of it all for you. For my regular subscribers, I know this is totally not the normal type of content, but this test has helped me personally in such a way that I wanted to share it with you and those who aren't aware of it. Warning, not everybody believes in it. Some experts in the field of psychology study it and others like to try to dispute it. That is not what this video is about. So many people who have taken it have been so impacted by it that its popularity seems to be ever increasing. Some people are totally obsessed with it and some people feel understood for the first time in their lives. To others, maybe it'll just be mildly interesting. It's uh, not going to map out your future for you. It is not a horoscope. It should give you insight that may help guide you along your way. All I ask here is that you guys just take a few minutes to do the test and see what you actually think about it. You might have your eyes open to something that you just never realized. Your way of doing things might finally make some sense to you, especially if they aren't making sense to anyone else. So anybody watching, have you done this test before and what do you think about it? I'll tell you the website that I use to do the test in a minute and it's free. There's also an official MBTI online test and it's $50. I have not done that one yet. If anybody wants me to, I will because I'd like to compare those results with this other one that's free. I've used a particular free one for many years and my results have been consistent every single time, although different traits in the results will vary and are sort of on a spectrum and so you'll have a certain percentage of this and another percentage of this. The percentages for me have altered slightly but my results have remained the same. I'm not sure why or how I discovered it, but I think I first discovered this test about 10 years ago. After getting the results of this and reading about things on different websites, I was in total awe. It was the first time I realized I had been behaving in certain ways with relationships, and I realized not only the pattern, but the reason behind some of it, and it's almost as though someone had been closely observing me, analyzing it all, and putting it all in a little write-up for me. It was so specific, so accurate, and very surprising. So for me, my results showed that I am an INFJ. INFJ stands for Introverted Intuitive Feeling and Judging. It is an unusual type, in my opinion. INFJs can sometimes appear mysterious to others, and they have a combination of traits that can definitely confuse people. They can sometimes be difficult people to get involved with. They seem to struggle with detachment and involving while they want to form a few close relationships, yet also they need a whole lot of space away from them as well. They can appear to be extroverts, but are definitely introverts by nature, needing to recharge after being out and about or around people. Some of them are probably super happy during this lockdown to be stuck at home because it's no big deal, no big change for them. They have a very strong intuition about others. And for example, when they're around other people who are, they're strongly impacted also by the moods of others. So if they're around somebody who's in a bad mood, it can really, really make them feel very uneasy and uncomfortable. They'll do everything in their power to help that person get out of the bad mood just to make themselves feel better as well as they do care about the other person and want them to feel better, but seriously, a lot of it has to do with them feeling so unbelievably uncomfortable with the hostility of others. So you guys, those are just a few details about how I think INFJs are. I could definitely go on and on about it. It's a weird one to be for sure. The website I have been using for many years is called Human Metrics and I'm gonna to link to it below. If any of you are comfortable, you wanna share your results, feel free to do so in the comment section. I love learning about it. A lot of people who are into the tests love chatting with others about it. If you've taken the test on a different site and you wanna share it below if you think the site is better, Feel free to do that. 
I can't wait to read the comments and thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.